What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. Last week we toured three brand new manufactured homes up in Central California. If you miss those videos, make sure you check out our channel and to tour those full tours. We do have two double wides and a single wide that we toured in Central California. Two of the homes were in San Luis Obispo. They're beautiful. And the other home was in Santa Margarita, which is just miles from wine country in Paso Robles. Right now we are in Hemet, California, which is just outside Riverside and Orange County. We're pretty central to Orange County and San Diego. The Californian is an all age manufactured housing community right down the street from downtown Hemet. This beautiful manufactured home was built by Clayton West, formerly known as Golden West. This three bedroom, two bathroom home, if you have your private land, you could purchase this home for under $120,000. But in place with the location value, this home is selling for under $180,000. Make sure you stick it out to the end. It's got a beautiful kitchen open to the living room, but let's talk about the outside. Right here, we do have this lap siding and the windows above. The lap siding with the accent really does add some character, good for curb appeal, and it also adds some texture to the architecture. The rest of the home is your typical vertical siding. But what I love about this home, let's back up a little bit here, but tell me what you think about this curb appeal. This home doesn't just look like your typical box. We have this half factory built front porch with Trek steps. We've also added eaves to the front. And over here, we do have that eyebrow with columns. That eyebrow with columns really does add great character again, in these lease land communities, we're always trying to do what we can to add some good curb appeal. All right, let's go over here to the driveway side underneath the carport. The first thing that we're gonna go through is the utility room. The utility room, we've added a lot of cabinet space. You're gonna see that there's overhead utility cabinets and there's also another bank of cabinets. So again, my favorite part of this home is the kitchen for the price, this is one of the best values that's out there. To be able to purchase this home for your private land for under $120,000 is a great deal, especially if you understand the cost of building these days has gone up tremendously, especially here in California. So over here, we do have these overhead side-by-side -side overhead cabinets, and then we have the hanging bar right there. Over here, you could fit a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. So you can easily fit a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. If you wanted to go with a stack dryer over here to the right, you'd have to add some configurations, but you'd be able to get that in there as well. So that is definitely an option. Over here, right behind us, check this out. This is where I was saying that we added another bank of cabinets. All of the Golden West cabinets, oops are similar to silver crest. They're all soft closing hinges. I love the soft closing hinges. If you have kids, you understand the value of those. If you have kids, you understand the value of those soft closing hinges. Let's go out in the hallway. This is, like I said, a three bedroom, two bathroom home. These are great size second and third bedrooms. You can easily fit a queen size bed with eight end tables. You can also even have room for a, a nice dresser. So oh, back up over here, we are going to go in. But look at, we've added this door over the furnace. Having this door option there really makes everything a lot more quiet. So you make sure that wherever the location of the furnace is, a lot of times it's in the utility room. If it's in the utility room, you still wanna add this door. 
it's a great option and it's going to add value to your home. Otherwise, it's gonna, your home will be a lot noisier. If you're watching TV or your kids are doing homework, then it can get pretty noisy. Before we go into this third bedroom, let's go over here in the guest bathroom. They did a fabulous job with this guest bathroom. We even added, look at this beautiful sink. This is definitely, this is a different sink than your standard sinks in most of the manufacturers. We did stick with the laminate countertops, but it, they, they have a little bit of texture. It looks really nice. We have this six inch backsplash right here. We have a nice simple mirror trim. So there you go. There you could see the, the mirror trim. Another manufacturer that does a good job with their, the trim around the mirrors is Silvercrest. But again, this is a Clayton West home, great value. One of, it's a great manufacturer as well. We only work with the best. But over here to the right, as you know, I always say, add the bathroom windows. Check out how big this bathroom window is. This is one of the biggest bathroom windows that I've seen. It adds a lot of natural light. And over here to the right, I missed this in the first time that I walked to this home, but more cabinets. This home is not short of cabinets. Wait till you see the kitchen. All right, we're gonna take a quick peek into this second or third bedroom, whichever you wanna call it. But again, it's the same size as the first bedroom that we showed you. You can easily fit a queen size bed, nightstands, and if you want some extra shelving or you want a dresser, you, you do have room for all of those. Now into the master bedroom. This is a very large, spacious master bedroom. And check this out, I love it. I was so surprised when I first toured this home to see this walk-in bath, uh, walk-in closet. My apologies, all bathrooms are walk-in, but this is a walk-in closet. Check out how big this is. This is not short of any clothes or shoe space. If you have shoes, you have plenty of room up above to stack the shoes. And over here to the right, we even added, check out the shelving. Our customers love this shelving. So again, tell us what you think of this home. We, we love hearing your thoughts. It helps us in the future for homes that we order on spec. A lot of the homes that you see are spec ordered homes. We purchase an old home, pull it out, and put a brand new home in its place. So if you own a mobile home and you're looking to sell it, we buy mobile homes all the time. So we can pay you cash, cash you out the same day. So if you do need to sell your home, we can also represent you as agents. We have a lot of buyers that are waiting. So now let's go into this master bathroom. It's not a his and her sink, but what's nice is that there's we have a bank of drawers and more cabinet space. So, you know, you can go with a his and her sink, but then you're going to be losing drawers and some cabinet space. And again, we do have all all master bathrooms do have a walk in shower. If you want to put a tub shower combo in your master bathroom, then you can definitely do it. But if you're thinking about resale value, I definitely recommend going with a walk-in shower. Most people do want that walk-in shower. We have the, the towel rack and again, more cabinet space. This is great for a linen closet or, you know, if you have extra shoes or shirts or anything, this is, we have three cabinets right there. So now we are getting into, let's back up a little right here because the gold, uh, Clayton West, I said Golden West, they were, are still known as Golden West, but uh, they changed the name to Clayton West now. But take a look at the door frames. These door frames are different than your standard door frames. They kind of have a little bit of that farmhouse feel, modern feel. So this home has a good, um, this home 
has a little bit of a mix of a modern and traditional feel farmhouse. We do have, these are eight foot flat ceilings. Most people think these are nine flat, nine foot flat ceilings, but they are eight foot flat ceilings. It feels very spacious and look at this, check this out. We even have a coffer ceiling over here, which adds a lot of character. It dresses the home up, customers love it. And look at, it is, this area is not short of windows. We made it so we put the windows to the side so you could either put your TV on this wall or this wall over there. So um, later, I'm, so where would you put your TV? Which wall would you put it? How would you set up this room? Now, again, I said, like I said, this is my favorite part of the home. Check. Now should we go in with me? No, no I just wanted you to give like okay. a quick overview. Okay. Like I said, this is my favorite part of the house. It has a large kitchen island that you can easily fit four or five bar stools, one on each end, and then you could do three right there. And, and guess what? A lot of times when you add a kitchen island, you don't have room for a dining room table. But look at this, you have room for a dining room table that's easily gonna fit six to eight people. So you can have friends and family over here, entertaining them, everybody has a place to sit. And look at the, the workmanship on this. I really love the way this kitchen island looks with those legs on each corner. You got plenty of room to put your legs in a bar stool. And we even have a lot of cabinet space. Like I said, my favorite part of this house is this kitchen. This kitchen has everything you need. It has plenty of cabinet space soft closing hinges. We went with the laminate countertops, the same cabinets as in the master and guest bathroom with that six inch backsplash tile. Stainless steel appliances typically are still my favorite. I know some of you say stainless steel is very difficult to clean or keep clean. That is very true, but here's a hack. WD-40 is a great way to clean all the fingerprints or scuffs in the stainless steel. It also makes it, uh, WD-40 just lasts longer. So, so it's a great way and it's a great, what is it called? It's a great solution. So WD-40 is a great solution to keep your cabinets. Ugh. WD-40 is a great, solution to keep your stainless steel clean. You have many different options when you're ordering a new manufactured home. We stuck with the six inch backsplash that matches the countertops, but you can also use tile, mosaic tile. You could go granite. There are many different options when you're choosing your countertops and your backsplash. Over here, we stuck with the standard sink you can go with a single cell. You could do a farmhouse sink, gooseneck faucet with sprayer. Right here, we do have a sprayer. They don't have the water turned on for this home, but we do have the sprayer and it's a single lever faucet. Oh, maybe they just have that line turned off, but we'll get that fixed. And over here, more cabinet space. This appliance package did come with a dishwasher. So not all appliance packages come with a dishwasher. Make sure you talk to your MH expert when you're ordering a new home. If you want a dishwasher, oftentimes you need to option that in. And we have this side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer with the ice and water dispenser. Again, you have different options typically. And even though we have this really large kitchen island, you have plenty of room for a dining room table you can easily fit sick, a table that fits six to eight people. So this home has it all. It has everything you need. If you've been looking at the flooring, a lot of people think this is actually the vinyl plank flooring. In fact, this is linoleum. Don't mind the dirt. Again, it's gonna be cleaned here right as we leave. 
but this is beautiful linoleum. It has texture. If I didn't tell you, you would never know that this was lino. Tell us what you think of this lino over here. Thank you for watching this edition to the Manufactured Housing Expert channel. We too are brand new manufactured homes on a weekly basis. We have a lot of cool things coming your way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we premiere new videos. We also appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. See you next time.